Good morning, everybody. Actually, I'm gonna sit down. Not gonna lie, I have been trying to start this vlog for a minute and there has been disruption after disruption, but it's okay. We are not gonna give up easy. So this vlog starts off with me cleaning out my pantry, but there's no proper intro. So I just wanted to sit down and welcome you to my channel and say, if you haven't already, I would really love it if you subscribed. Hun, would you like it if they subscribed? Absolutely. That's Mondi in the background. She seconds me. You should subscribe if you haven't already. Um, and now we can just jump right in to pantry clean out, which was a huge mammoth of a task, but managed to tackle it. I still feel like I can do a few tweaks here and there to just find proper homes for things. But for now, it's neater than it was before. And that's good enough for me. So today is pantry clean out day focus oh ho, ho. and i just want to be very honest about the before because clearly this pantry needs a lot of loving so that's uh that's what it currently looks like a <laughs> uh, hot mess and everything is everywhere um but hopefully after this things will just start to kind of fall into place nicely so the main reason I'm doing this is that I have these little moths everywhere and I'm kind of nervous about where they're coming from and now I can't see any of course I'm not going to be able to see any now but they're like tiny little moths and I swear like there's usually like seven or eight and they started they've increased so it started off as one and then now there's a lot more than one um so I figure if I'm able to pull everything out into the kitchen floor and then literally just go through every single surface go through every single packet of flour, make sure that it's, oh sugar, just everything to make sure that it's not expired, then it's a little bit easier to start identifying where it's coming from and what could be the cause. That huge box down here that looks like crap is actually my Christmas tree. And I don't know how else to store it. I don't know how you guys store your Christmas trees, but I would love some tips if you've got any. I wish it was in cardboard. I wish it was in a plastic box. Kind of like that. I wish there was like a massive one that fit a Christmas tree but there's none okay so it's been about two hours since I last spoke to you I had two work meetings and now I want to get everything out but I also have to say I'm not in the right headspace at all like I just I feel very moody very cranky very heavy as well like I like I just want to burst into tears and I'm not even entirely sure why I just know I'm not I don't feel the best but I will try and clear everything out and just start the process and maybe by just being active i'll start to feel better or by being productive i'll start to feel better i don't know but i'm gonna start Ooh, for a second i thought i wasn't recording i was just going to vomit all over the camera <laughs> okay i'm gonna do this now as long as I thought it would. Now it's time to wipe and this is what it looks like. Just empty shelves. Oh, well, this chair was in there because it was helping us. Empty, dusty, dirty shelves, a phone. My Christmas tree is here because there is no space here. Literally cleared everything out. You guys, I don't even know what some of these things are. It's like some of it is just like, what? why am I holding on to this? What, why? Why is that still in there? I also realized that I have so many decorative pieces like that, 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 that. Oh, well now I can't see them. All these little things that I kind of want to decorate my home with, but I never do because I don't have that much space also. Um, and because everything was hidden out, sometimes I would double up on things that I didn't even know I already had when I went to the supermarket. So hopefully, when I am done, everything will have a home. For instance, I realized that nothing actually stays under the sink, and yet something can stay under the sink. And there's two of them. So like it goes all the way along from here to, so there's lots of space I can use underneath there. Um, also, I kind of just want to paint this floor because it's just so mucky looking. So even if it's not dirty, it just looks dirty. Because there's, and like, look at all the paint, and it just needs a good 
nice cover and I probably wouldn't even I'd just probably paint it like a dark gray or something um, or the same shade of gray because I think it looks okay this this I wish I could paint brilliant white my whole house is this cream color and I've gotten so over it uh, but anyway we're not painting today today we're clearing out okay welcome to my kitchen floor actually I want to put you guys up a little bit Okay, so we're on the kitchen floor. I've got something to wipe things as I put them in because everything is a little dusty and I can tell because I'm starting to feel like I'm about to sneeze, cough, all that jazz. Um, I've just made an order for some things to come in, just like yogurt. You know this house and yogurt. Um, I'm going to clean some of these like detergent type things and start placing them under the sink. I'll just wipe them down because some are definitely a little bit dusty. I will put on a podcast because that's what my heart desires at this point in time. And then we'll just cue a time lapse. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so I found one of these and now I wish I had a lot more to kind of line the back. But since I have, you know, the thing here is that I don't always see what I have, but I think that would be made easier if I could layer the things. And I wish I had actual, um, what would this be, like organization boxes or cubes that allow for things to be layered so that you can see everything without having to kind of dig through the back. Kind of like your clothes, actually. But anyway, so I'm going to use that as one of them and I'm gonna hopefully find a few more in this stash. It doesn't look like I've done anything, but I have. <laughs> That's what I've actually done in there. Just put out like the detergents and things to wash, either hands or um, stuff, surfaces, all that stuff. <laughs> may not look like it but there is some progress it's coming together those are bulbs i don't know why i buy bulbs as if it's going out of fashion but the light outside there's a light in the stairs that keeps going off like clockwork every two weeks very annoying and my car for order just came <laughs> Obviously, there's a lot that we're going through and it can be very frustrating and right now the mood I'm in is not the best which I did check my um, Period app. I can't remember the name now I can't believe I don't remember the name now. What is it called? I can't anyway I'll, I'll put it in, in the description box in case you want to join it, but I did check and this is the time I would be PMSing, which explains why I go between being very angry for no reason and wanting to burst into tears and I can't explain it. I just know that I feel these feelings a lot. Anyway, what I was trying to say is I know that we're going through a lot this season and, and there's a lot of things that we could be frustrated about, especially when you start to look at what's happening in Kenya and the things that aren't happening that should be happening that the government should be looking into and you can start to feel very frustrated and very disappointed in people but it's also been a time where i've just seen such care and compassion and support from people that you wouldn't normally think that you'd get that from and i say this because i have like i only really know one of my neighbors like only really know them they're right across from me and 
I like I just I'm the other night I was trying to make chips and sausages and then I look at my uh, pantry and I only had two good potatoes and I was about to burst into tears because I was like I can't do this anymore and I just decided to try and call my neighbor and she gave me a whole bag of well not a bag a bowl which I even have to give back of potatoes and so I bought some to kind of replenish and I think I also because I bought an extra kilo of tomatoes um, to try and give her maybe I'll even just throw in a packet of juice as well just to say thank you because I like she saved me from a massive meltdown <laughs> meltdown because I didn't have potatoes you guys have no idea wow. good <laughs> can you hear someone in the background it's my best friend it's my best friend look what she bought me you guys and what's so interesting is I've just read a comment from someone saying Wow, your, your house would do with some really nice fresh flowers. And I was like, I can't even remember the last time I had fresh flowers in my house. What a dream. And then she brings me some beautiful lilies and I kind of just love her. Oh. I'm going to put these in water. Actually, we can do that together. We're going to have them there. Yeah, and we're going to do this together. Okay, okay, okay. Where are the scissors now? Oh, there they are. done I am not necessarily an expert at this but uh, I do like putting flowers together and that's what it looks like so I'm going to show you guys the after in just a moment but first I do have a package that was sent to me or at least they reached out to me on Instagram and asked to send me this thing and I was like wait do you know who actually loves this thing my best friend so I bought one for her and and then it was actually supposed to be sent to her house but there were like delays and whatever so it came to my house. So I've got my own and she's got hers. Are you ready to see what it is, hon? Okay, you wanna come here? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. I think you might have an idea. I don't. Should I close oh, my really? eyes? Yeah. Okay, I don't know if you need to close your eyes. Okay. You can just open and reveal. Oh Does it say what it God. is? Oh my I know what it is. Do you know? <laughs> what is it? It's cinnamon. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope it's any good. I hope it's no, good. No, from what Tats's reaction was. I know. Was, it must Tats's be. Tats's reaction was so oh. like best. More and Tats eats a lot of good things. <laughs> Actually, we're just gonna try. Oh, it feels bad to try. No, we'll try this. This is, we'll, is this, this yours? This will be the one you carry home, okay. so we can try All this. Because right. right. we don't need that many anyway. Okay. <sighs> oh my god, you guys. Like, oh, Cinnabon's from my favorite in oh. SA. Oh my. Okay. No, really? Oh my there. god. Oh Jesus. Oh lord. Oh. Are you ready? Are you, are you ready? Is it focused? Look at the rolls and the cinnamon on top. You know, Armani has been trying to get me to do this, to like bake this, and I was like, no, <laughs> this but looks actually, so hard. It's actually not hard. That's you did that yeah, somewhere for Tara's first mm -hmm. birthday, didn't you? Mm -hmm. It's not hard. Do you but actually yeah, did. I remember we had yeah. one of the, on yeah. the, on the yeah. we had like a dessert yeah. table, and you baked. Oh, I is did. this considered baking? It is. Okay, baking. you baked. You baked. Okay, do you want to try <gasps> the real taste test? You're the best. I can't even deal. Is this real? Oh, okay. Oh, um, yeah, let's take this one. Okay. Oh, wow, it's nicely gooey. <laughs> so I am not like a, obviously I'm, I'm not on her level of Cinnabon. Okay, let me get like, a knife so that we can split this one and taste it. Or do you want to have your own? Okay. You can first of all, the fact that you've been getting a knife yeah. is so extra. You can just split it with your fingers. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you've already tasted mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take my own. Oh, are they warm? Or is it just. Mm -mm. Are you sure they're not? Oh my god! Tats wasn't playing. Oh yeah? 
They're good. So I'm not a I think cinnamon be better roll. Warm. Oh yeah. Do you not get? Hun, they feel a little warm, no? No, they're not. Mm, mm, mm. This is why she ate the whole packet. Oh wow. You no, know they don't. I like about them. They're not too sweet. They're not too sweet because cinnabons can be very sweet. My favorite part is because they part. have like I don't know the, what that is. the glaze, but these don't have like a a very sweet. It's not overwhelming. I love mm. them. Mm. You don't just bite into it, you like peel it. Mm. Mm -mm. You can eat it the way you want. I know, but how do you I'm eat just it? doing it with layers. It's so yummy. <laughs> you know, I feel like that's so revealing. Mm. Like, I was actually thinking about how I eat my sandwiches mm. and how, like, my toasted sandwiches. And how I'll eat the edge and mm. then I'll leave the all the, the like, the insides yeah, in inside. the middle and then that's the <laughs> one I'll eat. And if someone tries to grab that, it's war. <laughs> it is mm. annihilation. Like, when so, we Yeah. I used to leave the fatty pieces of meat for, like, the last. last. Then my dad would come and take them. It would be war. And he would trick me so easy. He'd be like, what's that one there? Then I'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> And then he would take it and I'd, be like, I'd feel like crying. But that's my mm. favorite part. These are good. Oh, my God. I feel like... I'll go home with them and hide them because if I even just reveal, Hun, you can take. Yes, so yummy. You can take. Who's mm. coming here next? No, no. You can take. You can take two of these. I'll be left with two, so mm -hmm. you can have like hundred percent. Because I'm not like a full mm -hmm. house like you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I should have had my tea. Mm. I don't want a tea. Anyway, I want my next one. Thank it you. It passed Mondi's test. You. You're so sweet. You're Thank welcome, you. Honey. Oh, I didn't even say who it is. It's Handsome Cakes. By the way, you guys, I try and leave links to everything I talk about in the description box. I may not do it for everything, and I may forget sometimes, but I make an effort. If I mention a brand, um, I will put their, their handles and everything in the description box. So you guys will find Handsome Cakes in the description box. Yeah. <sighs> Worth it. Mm. For sure. Okay, let's take a look at the pantry now. And it has Stop, I've already ordered the earphones. I'm legit using those now though. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so I'm ready to show you guys. I don't, honey, are you talking to me or to yourself? Oh, sorry, I'm not you Okay, um, so I wanted to first show you guys what Mondi is doing because Mondi is just extra like that. She's like, oh, I'm gonna cook for you and I'm gonna lay out all the ingredients. This, this, is a kind of organization that is in Mondi's blood. Well, these shouldn't be here. I don't know what those are actually, but like she's laid out her ingredients for when she's ready to cook and then kind of arranged that she's just such a, I love her, I love her. Anyway, um, so let's start with what's under the kitchen sink because I, I never used that space before I showed you guys, but now it, well, not, not really up there. Now, it, all my washing, detergent, scrubbing stuff, this is where it lives. Um, I also have some soaps in there. I just don't know where, maybe they should be in the pantry. I think there could be room for them in the pantry, but for now they're just gonna sit there. Like Those are like um, hand soaps and Dettol. I use, I use this, actually, I'm gonna show you. I use like the Dettol soaps like these to wash my makeup brushes. Maybe one day I'll, I'll show you guys in case you've never seen that method. But it just is an easier way to wash brushes. Um, this other side just has that, which is like room spray and mosquito spray or bug spray. And now for the pantry. Ah. <laughs> um, well, it kind of looks empty, but this is a good start. Look at all the junk that was sitting here that didn't have to just be filling up space. Um, so down there, <laughs> I don't have one of those fruit things, which would be great to have. So that's where I keep all my veggies. Um, so I've got my baking stuff here. And then this row, I have got like canned goods and like olive oils and cocoa and drinking chocolate and stuff like that, ketchup. Oh, actually, this should be in the fridge because this one's open. Oops. So this one goes there. Okay. Um, and then up here, I've got cereals 
eggs and juice sodas. I do not drink sodas, but when you order from KFC, that's what they bring for you. If you do like the wing combo, what is that? The wing man? Um, so you get these little sodas and this has been accumulated over a while. So that's why we've got um, that much soda. But because also, I don't know, friends come over and they want to drink soda. Hun, do you drink soda? Oh, so you see, Mondi had one today. So that's why we've got sodas and stuff. Um, then up here, I've got my equipment. I have to say, that was a very poor choice of a toaster. The, the, uh, this is why I don't like going for like massive, you know, inexpensive, cheap sale. Wow, 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 take it. Like, I love a good sale, but sometimes you just fall into a trap and it ends up being more expensive in the long run because it gets spoiled and now you have to buy another one. And this one, I have to hold this down if I want it to work, like that part. I have to hold it down for it to work. Anyway, I've got my diffuser and like, um, juicer, which is also broken. Although I did see someone say that there are people who fix it, so I'm not going to let go of it because now is not the time where we're buying new juices and equipment. Definitely not the time. Um, and then up here, I've got the alcohol that I've got, which is only, what is that even? Wine? What is that? I don't know if it's just wine or I think it's red wine. I'm not sure. And then that is elephant gin, which if you're a gin drinker, I highly recommend that because some of their proceeds go to charities that help with like conservation wildlife conservation and specifically when it comes to elephants up there i've got extra bottles and jars and things that i'm not really using that is a de decanter but i don't have the stopper so it just sits there to look pretty as if i know what i'm doing for a future bar cut that i will own one day in my life uh, a picnic basket up there my medicine basket i've never shown you guys this but I think for sure if you're a new parent, I imagine if you've got a couple of toddlers at home, you've got, you just know that it's important to have some of these things around. But for new parents or who haven't really um, discovered this part yet, I think it's so important to have like spare um, drugs. <laughs> what am I actually saying? Do you know, you know what I'm saying, right? Like paracetamol or like something for... Um, God, I can't even think now. Like thermometers, nail clippers, um, bandages, cod of oil, things like that, betadin. Um, and then what I do have is like two of each because for instance, like this one, this one has been used, but it was a few weeks ago, which means in a little while, in another couple of weeks, I can't use it. Cause once you open up a lot of these things, within a month, they go bad. Um, so. I just have a spare of the, oh, oh, you guys, actually, now that we're here, I have to show you the cutest thing that I bought with me. No, brought with me from New York. I bought it at Target and I am freaking obsessed. It's this way. You guys, it's bandages. Are you obsessed or are you obsessed? I can't even. I'm, I'm legit going to start a bandage company, you guys. These are the things that quarantine is bringing out of us. Um, cause I just, I'm so like, why do we need boring bandages when we can have cute designs like that? Hun, have I shown you my bandages that I got from New York? <gasps> okay. I have to show you. So I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty certain this is a thing that Mon Mondi loved. Hun, are you coming or no? Oh, you are. Yeah, she is. Okay. So. Mondi was legit this person in high school. Hun, weren't you always a bandage wearer? Yeah, it was. Even like, when I didn't have one. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, they'd uh, be like, oh, what's wrong? What happened to your fingers? I'd be like, mm, nothing, nothing. It's just cute. It's just cute. It's like I just <laughs> want a bandage. And I yeah. feel like, did I show it's you really this? really lame though, but yeah. I got this when I was in New York. What? So cute. They're so cute. Hun. <gasps> How I'll cute. You, I think I would do like fake cuts. Yeah, actually, so do you want them? Can, do you want some? No, it's okay. Honey. Are you sure? Yeah. I'll just start wasting them. You can just take Okay, let me take oh, yeah. two. <laughs> you can take one of each size. Oh. And maybe it, in, a, in different patterns, maybe not you this can one, decide. Yeah. I want, yeah, this is okay. You're in a different pattern or you're yeah, okay with this? Yeah, I can have this for this size and okay. then take this off this. Yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Look, look at us dealing, dealing bandages. <laughs> But it makes me so, so happy. Like I just even now I feel like I can just put them on. But then I'll wait for when I have a wound. 
had, I was just saying, I'm going to start, I'm going to start a bandage company. How cool would that be? And they can have all sorts of designs. Yeah. And oh. just like cute, pretty flowers. I know. Anyway, um, right, so that's medicine situation. And then here is snacks. I was, Mondi is so sweet and she came over with some of these. I do have a sweet tooth. Not really, actually. Well, no, yeah, I have a sweet tooth, but I don't really take that many sweets. My family does, though. So when they come over, I just make sure that there's something that they can get their hands on. And some of these sweets are not that expensive. And you put them in a jar and it just looks like you're ready for life. <laughs> um, uh, that I got when I traveled. It's like a giant lollipop, but it, it actually has like little lollipops inside. Um, oh, and then these bean these jelly beans are... An interesting situation actually maybe I should do like a fun um, video with these but so if you've never seen it this is the situation as soon as it focuses so you either have things like spilled milk or coconut flavored you can have a strawberry banana smoothie jelly bean or a dead fish tasting jelly bean so you don't know what oh, it's not focusing there you go so you don't actually know what you're getting you just hope you're getting the real deal and it can be so funny seeing someone's reaction as they kind of take a second to be like what is in my mouth Ugh. um okay so that's that um and then down here i have the oni jars that make my pantry look if only like that was that's pantry goals isn't it but the situation is that jars are I don't know they're an investment and to get everything in a jar would be a massive investment so every time whenever I can I will buy like two of these and I'll find something to decant and put into them but right now they carry the things that I use the most in my pantry so I've got um, cashew nuts raisins I love these two as a snack I've got flaxseed and uh, chia seeds and quick tip here actually if your child likes Weetabix it would be really good to add like a teaspoon of this and a teaspoon of this into their Weetabix and just mix it up because then they're getting extra nutrients and they don't really taste it but it goes a long way and then I've got pumpkin seeds which I use in salads and sometimes my smoothies Moringa for exactly that smoothies as well and then popcorns uh, or popcorn seeds um, and then I've got like flour and stuff, which by the way, I realized one of the packets of flour had gone bad and that's where, where the moths were like coming together to flourish in my pantry. So I threw that away. I've got these two baskets which just have random things inside, like bags and bags and stuff. Um, and then teas which are there, candles which are there, um, tissues and tissues and tissues and kitchen towels and um it's like these are just like tech uh, technical stuff like bulbs and um uh handy things to have in the house so up here is where i have more of the decorative items i bought these at um house of leather and they were such a good deal um so that's why i ended up buying way too many because i had an event and i wanted to use them instead of um paying someone to give me their props i just bought a bunch of them and some of these things I've just been collecting over time, like that little jar there, which is so adorable. I got it from Morocco and that heart jar as well. I got it from Morocco and it's so cute because you can open it. And, oh, I can't wait to have like places to display everything. I got this little Maasai man from Giraffe Center. This was from Turkey. Oh, I remember the days we used to just kind of occasionally travel and have PR trips, man, I've missed that. Um, these were a gift from Patricia Moscow Mule mugs. Is that what they're called? I think so. But they're so pretty. That, in a nutshell, is my pantry. Look who started. Like even her mess is in a nice little pile. And I've just been seeing how you're so extra with your I organization. Am extra. I am Super. Extra. Not a little. <laughs> It it's is a beautiful helps. thing helps, though. Especially when you're cooking. Like, yeah, just, you're right. Uh, it's better than that than like uh, leaving. Like the mess yeah. And then yeah. You're also cooking. This is fun. Yeah. This is so what are you making actually? So this is going to be a stir fry vegetable. Mm -hmm. Um and then some 
turmeric potatoes. You're kidding. Yeah. What? Yeah, and then some chicken. We'll do some oven 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 roast chicken. Okay. She said last bit in case you didn't hear was oven roast chicken. Yeah. Um. Yum. All right, and uh. That's me over there, you guys. That's my station. I'm trying to edit the video that's supposed to go up tomorrow, but still keep Mondi company. <laughs> this is so sad. It just looks like such a sad sushi. I have been banished to like this corner. Bring back the glass table. Glass table? Yeah. No, I'm fine at my little corner. Okay, I'm gonna show you progress right now, you guys, so that we can do this together. I, God, hon, I'm 11 minutes out of two and a half hours. I don't know why I'm coming in here. And by the way, by the way, I have been working on it for at least an hour in like cumulatively, uh -huh. cumulatively. So not just in like one sitting, but I've been like chopping things, removing, and I, I have to do that first round and then do another, like kind of watch through it again and just add music and change things, cut things that are just wasting time. But the reason I switched on the camera is because whilst clearing out the pantry, I realized that I had this olive oil, um, what would you call this? A uh, bottle? Dispenser? Dispenser? Oil dispenser? I don't know. Yeah. It's supposed to be for olive oil, yeah. but I don't need one for olive oil. What I do need is for this to have a home there and right now I'm not gonna put all of this just sitting there so we're now decanting it mm -hmm. and it's just so exciting to have like beautiful displays of things things just look so much more inviting when they're in jars yeah mm -hmm. like glass so jars mm -hmm. so satisfying this is what goes at the top oh I didn't show you guys but these three things back here are the three things that were expired the only three things that were expired in the pantry which is decent right considering what was in yeah. there and those are the only th oh and the flour which i threw out that's yeah. pretty good but something tells me you can still use those breadcrumbs really mm -hmm. you know what you can do do they still maybe you what's the date best before best july 2019 <laughs> oh god but that doesn't even feel like right. I must have bought yeah. it like in June then. Even I should have just looked at the expiration date. I mean, it I doesn't feel like I've had it for so long. I use them. If it was me, I'm just saying. Hun, you wouldn't use that. No, I, uh, it's a year. You with me. I it's would. A, <laughs> like, I would. So what? Hun, it's a year. Like, it's not like fish or meat. Hold on. When Wait, it betrays it, it? God, I did, was putting it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I would still I'm use so them. So really, I would just retoast them and then use them. Yeah. So it, it's yeah, it just yeah. kind of sits yeah. like that. I want yeah. to test it. Ah, I'm so excited! So pretty. I know we're like fancy people cooking. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so you go. Oh, and it's next yeah. to the wooden spoons mm -hmm. and these like little salt shakers that I got from okay. Masai Market. The vegetables. Which, by the way, I saw a tweet. You can uh, now. You can put the oil. So I actually saw a tweet from Shefa. Can you follow Shefa? Uh, no, but I've seen her. Oh, she's just like an amazing human being. But yeah. she was asking like what's happening to all the Maasai market um, vendors, like what happens to them? Because for sure they can't be operating now. And she was trying to ask what the government is doing about that. Um, Mondi and I have been having chats about the government and our wishes on what should happen if we had anything to say about that we're not saying that she didn't express that no hun yeah hun we even know we're not saying that but um we were just chatting about like just how sad some of the things that have been happening are and uh, anyway back to vlogging i just needed to show you that decanting moment <laughs> guys Guys, like, when they explain, it wasn't on purpose. Mm -hmm. it wasn't on purpose. Explain so what just I happened. was using the peeler to cut the potatoes to skin them, and then I had myself. Look, so I guess she needs to have a bandage because of her boo boo. Yeah, oh, I just hard. don't even know how this thing works. I mean, it doesn't oh, even so hurt, funny. it's just that we can't cook with bloody, bloody fingers. fingers, it's not the way to go at night. So, oh. let's get you a bandage. <laughs> Yeah. 
No, but I did. I did ask her if she did it on purpose. I was like, "Hun, you're not that desperate." <laughs> so I was like, "I'm gonna film I this." Did. That thing is just like super sharp. Yeah, it is. This yellow one? Yeah. No, 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 no. This. Oh, the the oh the pita. The tool of trade. That and it, it's like Sorry. it has like what do you call this edge? Serrated. Yeah. So it's pretty sharp. I don't even know how to do this focus thing. A small one. I mean, or just one. It's one. not even a big one. Wait, where exactly is it? Oh, I didn't even hear that. Yeah. Oh, so. oh It's actually not painful. That's it. that's too big. Okay. Like a smaller so, one. What color? Any color. She's like, which color? Which color do you want? Oh I'm gonna God. give you my the favorite yellow. one. Yeah. Because it's so pretty. We legit have doctor doctor days. Mm. Like like a toy will have a boo-boo, oh, so really? we have to get but oh. not with my special oh, okay. bandages, That's with so like normal cool. bandages. You waste them on the toy? No. Okay. No, are you can. And yeah. I didn't know if you were being serious. That's why I was like <laughs> Before we oh, it's unleash, so it's so pretty, isn't it? Ooh. Is that tight yeah, enough? That's fine. That's fine. That's perfect. Oh, sorry, hon. <laughs> How do you make it focus? Uh, my, I think my camera is old school. It just okay. doesn't often listen to. Okay. Look at Maybe us I trying to like show you guys yeah, in like right. beauty <laughs> mode. Mm -hmm. That's the bandage. Yeah. Okay. I am now. Oh, why is it every time I switch on my camera, I have a phone call or the doorbell rings? Hello? Okay, I wanted to tell you guys, I am, that can't be real, 15 minutes in. Ay, ay, ay. 15 minutes and it's still two hours long, so it means things have to be deleted. A lot of things still have to be deleted. But, I wanted to give you an update. This light makes things red, it drives me nuts. Like, look at your skin tone. It's oh, pink yeah. now. Oh, but we look like we've been suddenly fast and very light. <laughs> yeah. Or we use the wrong foundation. Yeah, it looks like the wrong foundation. Yeah. Anyway, don't mind that. I just want to show you guys. Oh, God. Had to switch off the light to show you guys the real color. Um, Han, do you want to explain what's in here? Just yeah. in case anyone's interested. So, this some butter. I put a bit too much of it, but we'll just move. And then. <laughs> It's garlic okay. and there's some ginger, I think in here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is ginger. Okay. And then there's a bit of soy sauce. You can see that. Yeah. Do you, you put what else? Then those oh. are the dry spices. Oh, dry spices, so which is... the dry spices, there's a bit of paprika in there. Mm -hmm. There's rosemary. There's a bit of basil here. Okay. There's garlic powder because you can never have enough garlic mm -hmm. and then some salt and I put very little salt because we put soy sauce already which is very salty. Okay. So you have to be very careful. Did you careful. put garlic in there? Yes I did. Oh you grated it? Yeah. Okay. So there's fresh garlic and garlic powder. Okay. And then those are the turmeric potatoes so I just boiled them in some turmeric and a bit of salt and then now we're going to lightly shallow fry them with some garlic, whole garlic Ooh, cloves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> In. That color is actually yellow. In case you were like, oh, the color is distorted, it yes, really is yeah, that yellow color. And I think I may have convinced her to spend the night. Yeah. Because it feels so nice to have you around. I don't want you to leave. Oh, I don't want to go either, actually. So there's no, re there's no reason to go. Yeah, so. there's, yeah, there's nowhere we're going, is there? Yeah, so we're going to have a fully fledged sleepover. Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, back to back to work and stuff. Mmm, you guys, it's just spices, but already it smells so good and it looks so good, hon. I hope it turns out I think out it's the good. butter that's just Literally exciting me already. It was from your head. Oh, hon, yeah. really? Like, from, like, sometimes I just watch my mom cook and I get a bit of inspiration from what she does. Yeah. But, like, this one time I tried orange chicken and it turned out so yummy, so oh. I'm just trying to do it. Again. I mean, we've not even started, but it just looks amazing. Okay, let's have some real chats. Um, as Mondi is cooking in the background, so if you hear any banging, that's what's happening. But, so, earlier today I was talking to David, and that's David Morabi, in case, I don't know if you follow him, but you should. Um, but he's this, like, creative and 
DJ and one of my mentors and I was just talking to Mondi about it as well and I realized we haven't really had a chat about it here because it's not the sexiest of topics but it is the realest of topics and that is job security and I haven't really said anything also because I guess it's such a daunting conversation to have but I have never as I'm sure many Kenyans in this in this point at this point but I've never been more uncertain about the future and about well I'm not even sure it's the future per se but in this moment about yeah yeah but at the same time I feel positive so I'm not sure if, if I feel uncertain about the future or if I just feel uncertain right now about money um, and like I'm at the point where I'm like what I what's coming in is a fraction of what was coming in before is that too much to say no <laughs> okay um, and and I I mean <coughs> I do have some savings but it's also like a very sobering moment to kind of just be trying to consider all options and see what makes most sense and I don't even know what to say about this. It's just times it's are tough. different. It's tough, and and I think even better for those people who are even receiving a little bit of their salary because yeah, yeah. it's people who have been yeah. laid off. Yeah, these people who are on unpaid leave. I can't tell you how many of my jobs have been cancelled completely. Yeah, some just paused, but it's just like what's gonna happen but at the same time I feel so positive and I was telling I told David and I did tell Mondi yeah. the same thing that the thing that's also comforting is to know that I'm not alone in this moment and that there's so many other people who are going through the same the thing world the whole world just, and so there's yeah. going to be a hunger to yeah. collectively try and get past this so yeah. it's not just it doesn't feel like oh gosh it's just me trying to figure out what yeah. the next step is you feel like everyone Everybody is, is like please. no how are we going to get out yeah. of this how do we build each other out yeah. bail each other out or yeah. try and try and move yeah in that direction but I, it's scary it's, it's so scary but you know patty said something so profound to me i think we just dm each other the other day and mm -hmm. i was telling her like i was just trying to do everything that i can to keep sane but anyway we're just trying to find out how each we we each were and i was just telling her how i'm just trying to cope by like doing things that make me happy mm -hmm. and she just said maybe it's not maybe this is a time to like look within you and be okay with things that don't like without these external things mm -hmm. you um, I feel like we can even just get the message and read it. Like, just hold also, because I'm just like yeah. that's very nice, but what if also you need a roof over your head? She just said, okay. "I think what's going on in the world is honestly supposed to teach us to be okay with us as we are, mm -hmm. not what we do. Just to remember who we truly uh, yeah. are." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I get that. Yeah, wow. I get that. Yeah. But it's, I mean, it's scary, um, and you probably do many things to try and cope with it. Yeah. But also, it's as much as it's yeah, it's really a frightening time mm -hmm. for people who even have families, and you have to figure Kids, out where yeah. you're gonna provide. I mean, where is where's the money going to come from? But it's also time to just look within and just figure out what type of a person have you mm -hmm. been and. And, and and are you okay with, with just yourself? being you? Because often, what do we do? We attach our sense of worth to, to money, exactly, to roles, exactly. to a sense of being productive. Exactly. And the moment we're not able to do all those things, you feel you like I'm not worthy. Like I don't have like I enough money. Yeah, exactly. I don't have that title. Exactly. And I'm not doing anything. So I'm not exactly. worthy. And I get exactly. what her point. So yeah. from that I thought she was just saying like, you know, it's time to look within and no, just be okay with self. No, no, no. Like, she was just trying to yeah, say that what didn't. are she we uh, outside of yeah, these, things. these things? And are you happy with that person? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, but also <laughs> there's the issue yeah. of money, and I know I I I I'm privileged enough. Boy, as things burn, but I'm privileged enough to know that like even if the worst came to the worst, I still have my folks. Like I could still go back to my folks, and there's people who don't even have that as an option. Yeah. It's like if you don't have this, if you don't have money, if you don't have a job, if you don't have an income, what do you do? And I, it's a tough, it's a tough time. And I hope just by, I guess by me sharing that I may be looking one way on here, but there's a lot that's changed 
for me financially a, like a lot that's changed for me financially i hope by sharing that that it's just a reminder that like there's not like we're all we're, we're in this together and i hope it just gives a sense of oh okay it's not just me we're all trying to figure this next part out yeah because lord knows <laughs> It's gonna be tough, but at the same time, I have to say, I feel really positive. And and like Patricia said, one of the things that I'm trying to do at this point is not yeah. like make all the money, be strategic, yeah. think of like the next steps, whatnot. It's yeah. can I show myself self love because I've discovered I'm I'm not good at that. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> you're not. <And> we're <laughs> no, you're not. I'm I'm saying it for for real. And neither am I, hon. It's not even about it. <laughs> It's very hard to show yourself stuff, love. I'm just telling you. I'm just being real. <laughs> no, and I, you know what? But can I tell you? <laughs> oh my gosh, me too. I'm like, what? I'm I'm like, what? <laughs> I think she's right, though, you guys. You know, like, if my best friend not. is just like, yeah, you really, you don't. You're know. not. <laughs> then no. it's true. But like, it's true. <laughs> what? It's because I see her and I see you. I see the things she struggles with, and I know that she could do a lot more in that category so it wasn't like an attack i also don't show myself enough self love and i don't think many people yeah. have that yeah. um like capacity like, to like make yeah. space for themselves and exactly like, yeah. yeah so yeah. okay back to life and cooking <laughs> yummy food so my vlog first rough draft it's now down to 48 minutes, you guys. It's taken me the whole day, hasn't it? Yeah. From like three and a half, that thing was three and a half hours long. It's now at 48 minutes, which I still have to go through and edit it again. I'm not going to do that again. Like, I just was pushing it with that kind of vlog. But I just wanted to show you the finished product because Mondi is, <laughs> Mondi is such a blessing, you guys. And she's just gone all out. Um, so we've got the veggies. Uh, which just looks so by themselves they look so delicious um also i've just can can we just have a second for these bowls hon they're cute huh they're so cute. i just love them and then we've got pereros which you call what they were turmeric potatoes oh right so fancy um and then we've got the chicken which i'm going to reveal in a moment but she knows that i don't take ketchup so so she made me like my own tomato gravy. Just, fun. <laughs> you're just too I much. You. I love you. And then, what do you call, what's that French word for like, for this Voila? No, the other. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are not the ones that you come from. It was something like, piss something resistance. The, like the. Whatever, forget it. Anyway, yeah. but this is this is um the real shit. <laughs> In like an, another way to say it. This is it, okay? The chicken, which has just been sitting in all this good juice in the oven for a long time. Mm -hmm. After first you boiled it so that we could have some stock, didn't you? No, I boiled the other one. Oh the 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 bones that we Oh did, okay, yeah. okay. That we oh so you didn't yeah. boil this one. Oh. oh so you boiled a few pieces. Mm -hmm. The ones like oh. the neck and the back that don't really have that much meat, yeah. but they have a lot of flavor. Oh, but that's great because it means I have stock for, for the next soup yeah. that I make. And then you pan fried it. So I tried to, but I just gave up and I was like, you know what, let's just throw it in the oven. Uh -huh. So that's what I did. I threw it in the oven at 180 degrees for about, I would say about 40 to 45 minutes. Yeah. 40 to 45 minutes. Yeah. And she's got her drink. Yeah. Remember the one that I was telling Patty? Oh, anytime you come, you can. She hadn't even watched the video, but she's just like, "Hun, I'm taking gin." <laughs> I was like, "Yes, please do." And you've just made it so fancy in your wine glass. Um, this is elephant gin, and it's—is it just gin in here? No, there's like apple juice and a bit of soda water to like remove a bit okay. of the sweetness. Uh, look at that meal just showing off and then for dessert you guys we're gonna have oh, cinnamon, cinnamon rolls yeah. so, yeah. what did i call them yeah they so, are cinnamon no, rolls i, I just call them cinnamon because that's just what the brand is yeah oh that looks so good mm -hmm. in case anyone's wondering these are the three pieces of chicken that i've gone for mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. And that is my dessert. I'm just gonna warm that in the microwave in a little bit, just for a couple of seconds. I'm having my, what green tea is this? I think green tea with orange. 
and then we're calling it a night. Okay, I'm gonna say good night here because there's just way too many distractions in this in this house. Um, I'm just gonna finish editing that vlog, upload it, have my dessert, and have a great night because I, I'm so ready to just sleep. And you can even tell in the way my eyes are because they just feel so tired right now. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.